Welcome back everybody, droidlife.com. We're gonna show you quickly today how to install a custom ROM on your Motorola Droid. And the one we've chosen to go with is Black Droid's Ultimate Droid 5.0, which runs on the Android 2.1 ERE25 build, which is the same one we showed you the other day that had our phone running crazy fast, awesome. Loved it, it was probably the OTA update we were supposed to receive, but for whatever reason they pulled that thing back. Anyways, that's what he built this ROM on. For those of you wanting bugless beasts, they also have an ERE25 2.1 build, but we're not going to show you how to install that because the process we're going to run through for this is the exact same process for Bugless Beast. So please don't ask me to do a video on Bugless Beast because this video will show you exactly how to do it. You just use the Bugless Beast file instead of the Ultimate Droid file. Okay, got that? All right, first thing we need to do then, make sure we're rooted. Okay, super user permission ninja, I'm rooted. Okay, how did I get my root? I used the Droid Mod Updater. Okay, if you don't know how to do that or that's confusing, we have videos on that. We'll post links to those in the post as well. Okay, so what we need to make sure we do is root. Let's do this again. We need to root with Droid Mod Updater. And then I actually went through and installed Droid Mod 1.0, which you'll see I got five screens going on. Why did I do that? So I could get SP Recovery installed on my phone so that I can go ahead and flash my ROM, flash the new ROM for Black Droid on there. Okay, hope that makes sense. Anyway, follow those steps. Root it with Droid Mod 1.0, install Droid Mod 1.0 ROM on there, and we should be good to go. Okay, once you do that, you got to go right up above here, above this video in our post, and you're going to download the Black Droid ROM. Okay, Ultimate ROM 5.0. And what you're going to do is download that to RAR file. In that RAR file, you're going to extract it, and it's going to be a folder called Ultimate Droid. Okay. Ultimate Droid 5 or something like that. I'm telling you to do this on your PC, not your phone, okay? So please do it on your PC, extract it on there, and we're gonna copy it over to our SD card in the Nandroid folder, which should be already created after you've installed Droid Mod 1.0, okay? I said Nandroid, okay, Nandroid folder, okay? We're gonna copy Ultimate Droid 5, see it right there, over into our Nandroid folder on our PC, then we can go ahead and unmount our phone and we can go ahead and start with this process. Okay, so what we need to do next is once that's in that Android folder, we're gonna power off our phone and reboot into recovery mode. Okay, so go ahead and shut her down all the way. Flip her over, open her up, boot into recovery. Remember we hold the X key and we hit power until the screen flashes. You can let go of power and make sure you're still holding onto that X key. Okay, still holding. And you'll know you've done it right and held the key long enough when you get this screen, okay? SP recovery. Okay, so what we wanna do is, uh, we'll zoom in here. Um, remember to move around, you use D-pad and gold button to press OK on everything, okay? So what we wanna do first is go down here and do wipe data factory reset, okay? Click on that. Scroll all the way down there to yes. Yes, okay, formatting. This one will take a little bit of time. This is probably the longest process out of it all. So just let this thing roll. Like I said, for you people wanting bugless beasts, please go ahead and just follow these instructions. It'll get you through it. Okay, next thing we do is go to the next option, which is wipe cache partition and click OK on that and let that run through there. And that was quick. And then the next thing we do is go down to backup and restore. Okay, click on that. And we're gonna go to advanced Nandroid restore. Click on that. And we want to go down, let's see, we wanna choose backup first. So you can see that's the top option. So make sure you got that highlighted. Choose that. And this is where we go down and select Ultimate Droid 5. Okay, select Ultimate Droid 5. And we go back and we should select all of these. Okay, and then we can go ahead and roll with it. Okay, so now we go up to perform restore, tap right on that, and we'll let this thing start rolling and hopefully she works. Uh, in case some of you are wondering what Black Droid is, uh, this used to be on All Droid, and uh, their initial build of this ERE25, they, for whatever reason, included the paid version of an advanced task killer. Not good, you can't be dropping around you know, paid apps to everyone for free, so they were removed from all Droid. They redid their, their ROM, and now they're over at droidforums.net, so if you wanna follow Black Droid, that's where you can follow all their updates and things like that, so. And for you Bugless Beast people, supposedly there's some drama out there between Bugless and Black Droid. Um, supposedly Pete, the guy that runs Bugless Beast, outed him 
for having that paid app on there. Who knows if it's true or not? We don't really care. I don't know either of the guys. I'm just showing you really quick how to do this because they both make really great ROMs. And we want to make sure you guys know how to use all these. So anyway, we're going through this. We're unpacking data images, system images, getting a nice fresh install of a ROM on here. And this will be the essentially the official 2.1. This is not some ported 2.1 from the Nexus 1 that people were building on before. This is the real deal. It's the real deal that I showed you from the other day. So, okay, anyway, finish. Once you get done, you're good, okay? So then we can go up and you see all these options. Now we're gonna, if we hit the power button on our phone, it takes us back menus. See that we're going back in menu. Keep it in power and keep going back until you get to reboot system now. Go up there and press OK on reboot system and it should reboot and when we boot back up we should be black droided okay people don't need to worry about bricking phones as long as you get that logo we can fix you okay your bricked phone just a reminder means you can't even get to that it means your phone won't turn on whatsoever okay so even if you get stuck here you can be fixed. So anyway, we'll just let this load. Since it's installed a brand new ROM, it'll probably take a little bit of time. And first step good, got past that. There's our Droid logo. You know, you can custom do those. We might do a tutorial on that one of these days too. You can change that so it you know, boots up as a Superman logo or something crazy like that. And sure enough, here we go. Black Droid is up. Okay, go ahead and unlock and launcher plus not sure that i really want to do that but let's go ahead and do it anyway to see what we get here okay here we go black droid you can see it's called black droid because everything is custom black your app drawer still looks really sweet and as you can see it's sort of see-through so you can see the android guy in the back very very cool um it's complete custom rom you got looks like seven screens instead of five on there so that's very nice um yeah, you do. If you, let me show you that again. As I'm scrolling down here, you can see those lighting up and showing me the custom. Very cool ROM here. Um, in this, we'll go into the browser just really quick and show you that it should have multi-touch and all the goodies installed. So um, let's go ahead and go to an actual web page. Let's go to... Well, it wiped out all my favorites, so that's probably not going to work either. I guess I could just go to droidlife.com for you. And droid life. Droid life. Just want to make sure we know this works properly. Sorry, we're killing time here. I should be faster with this. Um, but if you didn't notice that with the keyboard, there was. Okay, let's just go. Pinch zoom, pinch zoom works. Um, it should have the 2.1 gallery as well. Should have all that new stuff. Um, very, very nice customized ROM on here. Very cool. So anyways, that's how you do it. That's installing a custom ROM. We're now black droided 5.0 ERE 2.1. And actually let's go into settings and show you in the about section that we are in fact running droid 2.1. And there it is, build number, Ultimate Droid 5.0. So, pretty cool. Uh, if you guys got any questions, comments, leave them, you know, YouTube channel or at the blog, droid-life.com. We'll hopefully answer those, but there's plenty of support out there. But anyway, custom ROM done, and we're out. Peace.